Within three minutes, I'll explain the basics of quantum entanglement, then summarise entanglement's potential in faster than light communication and the stitching of space-time. Quantum physics describes the world on a scale smaller than an atom. The four pillars of quantum mechanics are the discretization of energy, wave-particle duality, the uncertainty principle, and quantum entanglement. If two objects are entangled, then their physical properties are related in such a way that any measurement done on one will instantly improve knowledge about the other. Say there are two electrons, each with an inherent property called spin, which can be up or down. In special cases called Bell states, the total spin must equal zero, with one electron up and one down. The probability of both having the same spin is zero. Before measurement, each particle has a 0.5 chance of having either spin. After measuring particle A to have up, you know particle B will have spin down. The probability of B being up becomes 0 and down becomes 1. Information about one electron conveys information about the other. They are entangled. This itself does not seem particularly impressive. After all, the same effect can be observed with a pair of shoes hidden in boxes. If one box contains the left shoe, the other must contain the right. But this analogy is not actually applicable, because the left-right quality of the shoe is determined before opening any box. In contrast, quantum physics dictates that a particle does not have a distinct property until a measurement is made. In other words, only when electron A's spin is measured to be up, does electron B's spin become down. This is what Einstein called spooky action at distance. Experiments have shown that the outcome of quantum entanglement is non-local, i.e. not affected by only immediate surroundings. What's more, if the entangled particles communicate to produce some of the observed correlations, they must be doing so at at least 10,000 times faster than the speed of light. This violates Einstein's theory of relativity. Scientists cannot explain this apparent contradiction. However, most are convinced that we cannot exploit entanglement for our own faster than light communication. This is because you cannot force an entangled particle into a particular state without disturbing the entanglement, nor can you force a measurement to produce a particular state, because measurement outcome is always random. An interesting idea, with perhaps more hope, was proposed by Brian Swingle, who argues that space-time and gravity may emerge from entanglement. Tensors are algebraic objects that describe a multilinear relationship between sets of algebraic objects related to a vector space. Tensor networks, such as MERA, combine information from complicated interactions between many quantum objects into a single geometric structure. Swingle, among others, hopes to further this emergent geometry into an explanation of how a smooth, continuous space-time can emerge from discrete quantum bits. The entanglement of quantum bits is critical to sewing this continuous space-time fabric. Quantum entanglement is a fundamental idea in quantum physics. Despite how unintuitive it can feel, it can be practically useful, theoretically promising, and is ultimately an inescapable part of our reality. Thanks for watching.